2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's events. Today's coverage of the Corn Ferry Tour opener is about to begin. Luke will be here alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer is about to take part in their first Corn Ferry Tour event. I'd imagine the nerves are huge. What type of goals are they setting and what can they expect in the season ahead? Well, look, there's only one goal for these players, and that's to secure their PGA Tour card. And there's three ways to go about it. They can get three wins on the Corn Ferry Tour. That will automatically get them to the PGA Tour. If they finish in the top 25 in the regular season money list, that will also gain access to the PGA Tour. But for everyone else, they need to finish the season in the top 75 in the points list to qualify for the Corn Ferry Tour Championship. And then the 50 from there will go on and secure a spot on the PGA Tour. Oh, I can't wait. Salivating to see how today's play goes. That tee shot looks pretty good. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. to be going with the five iron. Yeah, this is lovely. Now that's a little wayward. It needed to put some draw on that one, but just couldn't get it dialed in. Mm, straight out of the top draw. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. He's currently tied for ninth. Time to tee off at the second. Rich, always love being in the Quad Cities. There's a real hearty homeward feel here about the John Deere Classic. And again, being here at TPC Deer Run, just a fabulous way for the Corn Ferry Tour to get underway. This is the site, the host of the Big Dig. And what these players are going to need to know and learn this week is you better take out your shovel and go deep because this golf course is begging to be torn apart. Love this golf course, but birdies are a must. Oh, I love this type of courage, Rich. Going forward in two. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Their boldness paid off. They've got this for the eagle. Let's come up short. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes, and seems so in this case. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Currently one under for the day. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Not a bad approach. He'll be putting. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? 
Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Putting for a par here. Oh, just missed. And this one will be for bogey. And unfortunately dropping back to even par there. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. Oh my, that was launched. From around 140 yards here, just two shots behind. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Oh, well played. It's been a bit of a struggle on the greens. Hopefully he can change it here. Was on a good line. Putting for a par now. In the end, that will be a disappointing par after such a great approach shot. Now three strokes back after that hole. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's got roughly 105 yards here. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Got to like their chances from there. This punt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. Okay, steady now. A par putter waits. 
Now that's got to be frustrating. Hit such a great approach shot in, but wasn't able to convert. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. We've arrived at a par four hole. Good shot there, Beamer. Second shot here on the sixth. That's inside the house of opportunity. And this putt to move into a tie for third. This one's dialed in. That was a gallant attempt. A par putt on the table. In she goes. Let's head to the next. So no movement there. The player remains at even par. Teeing off here at the seventh. Going with the hybrid. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Looking better. Ouch, that hurts. Nineteen feet to the cup. This will be a good bogey. That's disappointing. That will drive you bats. Just three feet to the cup. And there it is. Sitting at two over for the day. 
we've arrived at a par four. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. Looks like they have a good lie here in the second cut. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. That could play. Sitting at two over for the day. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. Gotta say. His short game is phenomenal. Okay, let's head to the next. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Teeing off now on the ninth hole. That was wonderfully done. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 180 yards. Going with the six iron here. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our leader. And Henny, what are they looking at here? This is a 12-footer here, trying to save par here. This is on a great line. Oh, so close. This is a bogey putt coming up. Job done. Let's head to the next. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. That's nicely done. Second shot here at the 10th.
Uh oh, there's water over there. Playing their fourth shot. Five strokes behind our leader. Setting up here with a very long putt. Nine feet to the cup. Yep, tracking well. In it goes, and that's unfortunately back-to-back -back bogeys. Yeah, making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. Bogey on the last, but a good opportunity on this one to bounce back with a birdie. Humbled. Great drive. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. He's going to have to go down after this one, try and dig it out as best he can and hope for the best. What a shot from the rough. This is gorgeous. That lie was just nasty. That's the best they could do from there. a ripper and that'll promote a good move up the standings well that's worth reviewing let's roll the video tape beautifully judged great tempo on this chip Five strokes behind. We find ourselves on a par three here.
looks to be going with a hybrid here. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. And a fantastic look upcoming. Ooh, right by the hole. An opportunity to make a par here. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Currently at plus three for the round. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. And that's a nice strike. This one should find the fairway. Henny, what's the player facing here? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Going for less club here. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. Outside chance here for the birdie. A spot amongst the leaders here awaits if they can make this move inside the top 20. Surely it's going to. Oh, that's frustrating. Three feet to go here to the hole. And that puddle drop. Well done. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Penny, what does that lie look like? Oh, no, this is nasty. Just no.
well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? Look, I got to say, I'm really not liking their chances here, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Just missed. And this one is for his par. And down it goes. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. A long par for this hole. Second shot here on the 15th. Opting for the six iron. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. That's too bad. And this putt coming up for his par. Now eight shots back after that hole. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. Going with the pitching wedge here. Do you think they drew that up differently in their mind? Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. And the players left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Setting up this putt 24 feet from the cup. This is important, big par putt here. Gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? This putt 
is about 10 feet from the hole. Rolling end to end, this looking nice. And that's for a bogey. Moving down the leaderboard after that hole. Now at the 17th hole. That dog will hunt. Playing from around 230 yards. Went straight down. Yeah, disappointing not to find the surface, Rich, but I like that play. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. And here we are with the third shot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? Luke, I gotta say, I don't like their chances. I, I have been wrong once before, but I really can't remember when that was. Surely it's going to. That's the way to bounce back. Good way to make up for the bogey at the last. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. All right, one more hole to go. The 18. It came out of a cannon. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Yeah, this is straight back into the breeze. Going to be a tough one. Well, that's a handy shot. And this putt is for a final score of 74. Steady now. He's got a par out here. Let's see if he can make it. And that will do it for him at this event. Well, Rich, it's fair to say that this player didn't quite have their best stuff this week.
Not stellar by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, it was quite pitiful, to be fair. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.